Welcome to Community Matters. So welcome back um, after the break um, to Cooking Queen 2014. So this is the second season of this particular show and it's going to be a fun, packed, exciting season. We're so excited here. Now prior to the actual break, we had um, two very important people. But alongside me now, I have two extremely important people. First on my right is Honey Calaria. Honey Calaria is the a UK Bollywood ambassador. Um, she's very famous for choreography and dance in the world of Bollywood. And um, on my left-hand side, we have um, last year's um, 2013 Cooking Queen champion, and her name is Selena Begum. Honey, may I start with you first of all? Sure. Um, so obviously your experience has predominantly been within um, sort of Bollywood dancing, within choreography, you've done some of the top sort of Bollywood films um, within the industry. So coming into a, um, a season of cooking or a program within cooking, I would just like to know, how did you get involved in this? Well, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you to the team for inviting me to be part of the, uh, this particular show. What I found very exciting about it is it's about women, it's about women empowerment, it's about giving a platform to women. Cooking is something that women do every single day. But we don't realize how, um, you know, the technique that's used and the beautiful, wonderful, delicious dishes these wonderful women make for us. We should acknowledge them for these skills. So I think there's, there was that one area which I thought was very interesting. And the second area is because, of course, I do dancing. Dancing, health, fitness, it all comes together. And I'm very, very keen on, you know, healthy eating, healthy foods, healthy recipes, etc. So when we talked about the cooking side of things, that was another area that I, was quite appealing for me. Mm -hmm. um, so we know that you've been asked to actually host the show. Um, and what we would like to know is, um, um, from actually um, coming on board with the team, what specifically um, are you sort of looking forward to? What are you sort of most excited about as being part of the show itself? Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that, you know, we're just finishing and finalizing all the talks regarding me being a presenter for the show. Um, and if things work out, then I'd be really, really pleased to be part of the team. There's a really friendly team here who are all really, really keen on connecting with the community. And I'm talking about all the, all the different um, community members. It could be um, Punjabis, it could be Hindus, it could be Bangladeshis. So they're very keen on connecting through this particular program. And I always love the community. I do a lot of community work. So that's one other area from the presenting side I'm taking into consideration. And the second thing is, of course, you know, if everything works out for us and if we're part of this program, mm -hmm. I really look forward to doing something different. I've never done a cooking program before. I've never presented a cooking program. So I think it'll be quite interesting. You know, dance and cooking is two <laughs> different things. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and we um, do know that um, sort of within your own personal life, you are actually a pure vegetarian. Um, so um, I do actually know that you happen to cook at times within the kitchen itself. So what we would like to know is um, what would you say sort of inspires you to actually cook at home? I love the colours of cooking. I love the fragrance. I love the, the aroma. When I cook, I, I put lots of love into my cooking. I've never cooked like, oh, let's just chop some onions and put them together and just cook something. If I did cook, and if I do have that time to cook, then you'll find that I love getting the whole table set nicely. I like to put some candles around. You know, I like to make the food really delicious and things like that. So for me, it becomes an experience. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, when you cook with a lot of love, you're putting in a lot of positive energy into the food as well. So your family members, your friends, whoever comes and gets a chance to eat that food, mm -hmm. they'll be getting that positive energy in them too. So that's one area. It's, it's nourishment, it's nutrition. Mm -hmm. So food is something that we have to live with and yeah, it allows you to live, right? So it's an important part of our life. So when I'm cooking, I look at those kinds of aspects. So for me, it doesn't become just a mechanical um, area where you're just cooking. I kind of use it as an experience when I'm cooking. I, I, and being a vegetarian, mm -hmm. 
Of course, I'm very, very keen um, on vegetarianism. Um, I'm a, I don't eat eggs. I don't eat dairy products like um, cheese or anything. I love my Indian food, Chinese food, Italian food. I do enjoy all foods, but vegetarian foods. Mm -hmm. So for this one, of course, being a host and a presenter, it won't be about tasting or anything because we'll have special guest judges um, who are coming in to taste the food. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my aim would be to bring out the best in the women bring out the best in the presenters, people who are taking part in the actual, the competitors, I should say, who are taking part, and, and bring out a little bit about their personalities into the program. Because there's a story behind every woman, there's a story behind every individual. Every single person is special. Mm -hmm. Through the cooking, you don't just talk about the cooking side, you find out about the person. And that's the part I'm really interested in. That sounds really interesting. You have a sort of a lot of passion and drive and energy about cooking. And maybe one day we'll pop round to your house and sort of see how you're getting on in the kitchen there. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. It's been a real pleasure. Thank now, you. Now, if you allow me to move on to uh, Selena now. Um, Selena, it's so exciting to actually have you here because um, you're you. the cooking champion from um, last year. And wow, I can't even begin to manage what that journey and what that experience was like for you. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about that sort of journey that you had um, sort of last year how did you sort of get involved in it and whilst you're actually on the the show and um, you went through um, sort of cooking the very many different dishes how did you sort of find the whole process well um, first of all I have to say thank you to NTV to give me and this is a great opportunity to create my own platform and thank you for everybody for both and supporting me my husband actually inspired me to come to the cooking show I was first thinking, oh my gosh, I've got a big family and I can't just come to any show, I just come. But even I love cooking, he knows. Mm -hmm. So he actually kind of encouraged me, my kids encouraged me, my family supported me, my mom, my auntie, everybody here. So it's family support, family encouragement is very, very important. Um, when I was here, it was just amazing. It was really, really, I mean, obviously it was really tense and it was really nervous, but still, it was something that I really wanted to do with my heart and I really wanted to do, kind of show something that, yes, this is what I love and this is what I'm going to do and show it. And um, even the nervous there, but I had that experience that I cook at home and I'm sure I could do for everybody else. Mm. And um, when I was here, um, the first dish I was told to make was a fish dish. Mm. And then I went for my, um, I don't know, king prawn dish. Uh, the, I mean, sometimes you learn from the judges a response the feedback and the, it makes you better and wiser as well so you know there's a lot of people that you need to thank as you go and it's not, that's not only the first step and family wise i mean i had a lot of support mm -hmm. and what more can i say everything i'm really proud and i want every woman to click, um, kind of make, make their own platform and stand up for themselves as well and cooking is just our home you know, you, you could come and feed your friends and family, but you just don't have to stay at home. You could always bring it out. And I believe in that, that every woman has his own power, you could do things. And a bit of encouragement, I'm sure a lady could do a lot of things. <laughs> Um, and um, can you tell us about your sort of final dish and um, the dish that technically actually won you the champion um, sort of title of the Cooking Queen 2013? What was your final dish that you actually prepared for? My final dish was um, a lobster. Oh my gosh, right. that's amazing. And, yeah, yeah. and um, uh, it was really tough to get this done because um, my husband had to go in the morning to go to the market and get a real live lobster. We got this done, came home. You know, I had to get this uh, really kind of prepared to come here just in time. And um, when I came here and I made a, uh, the presentation has to be good, not just the food, not the smell. Everything has to be just right for your actual dish. I mean, the way I presented, presented here, it could be like with, I don't know, with rice. Mm -hmm. And obviously lobster could be eaten with naan, anything you want. Right? But I wanted to do different stuff. I wanted to put a bit more decoration on it. So it's just, it's actually as... Um, Sorry, honey, honey yeah. said it's not all about the food, it's the table, the presentation, the layout. Everything has to be just accurate. What specifically made you actually choose a lobster? Because, um, I mean, from my experience, I would never even consider trying to cook a lobster. So, what made you, what sort of inspired you to actually want to cook a lobster itself? I just wanted to do lobster because it's all something different. And as, yeah. as I was going, um, 
along the competition, I was wondering, hold on, I have to do something that nobody has done. It always has to be something as nobody's bringing and nobody has done. It has to be different. And I thought the lobster's going to be just perfect for me. And I, I, don't, I just want to do something that's really going to suit the ending. Fantastic. Um, so what we would like to um, ask you is, um, obviously there's sort of many women out there that um, are going to come onto the actual show itself, um, and they're going to be in the original position that you were in, sort of probably quite nervous, uh, wondering as to how it's all going to go about. So um, from your experience, um, what sort of key tips or key messages would you actually give um, these candidates? Yes, nervous is going to be there, but don't be nervous. Don't focus on nervousness. Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on yourself. Don't concentrate on what your neighbor's doing, what somebody else is doing. Just do what you have planned to do and what's your menu is, and that's it's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Don't rush. Just calm down. I know the time is ticking, right? But you just have to be calm. And I know there's no way of saying, oh, I can't be calm. Yes, but still, just don't panic. Panic, you make more mistakes. And if you look around and say, oh, somebody's done better than me, you're going to start end up changing your dish. Always stick to your plan, how you want it done, and just keep your simple dish the way it is. And always cook the best dish that you think that I've done at home, my fam and fam family and friends are loved. And you know that's a winning dish. You know that yourself, and I'm sure the judge will approve that. Um, now, I actually know that you have a number of children at home, um, and I know that you mentioned about your family and your husband um, kind of encouraging you and supporting you. Um, so how did your sort of children um, take to seeing sort of mummy on TV? What did they, yes. what was their sort of reaction? Well, first, I was really worried uh, because of their young age, and I thought, oh my God, they're going to start crying. But no, um, they're really happy to see me when, when I was to go home, and they said, mum, we saw you on TV, and they're so happy to see me. Even on the background music, the Cooking Queen music come up, my daughter my kids will come up to me and say, Mom, Mom, cooking queen, come on, come on, come home. So it's really good. And, you know, first, you know, where you think it's going to happen, it's not the way it is really. Mm -hmm. it's, it really changes for you. Your family start kind of responding to you as well more. And they know, right, hold on, my mom's doing something good and they need to support you and they do support you actually. Yeah. And I'm really, really proud of my family and friends that they're really supporting me, especially my husband and my mom. And they really put day and night into me, mm -hmm. just to me to achieve something that I love. I think that is really important because when you know that you have that sort of support behind you, then you're, um, you, it sort of encourages you to excel even more. Yeah. Um, so, um, the, you know, it sounds like a fantastic experience. So thank you very much. Um, honey, I would just like to move to you now and just ask you um, about um, the sort of role in the kitchen of women. I mean, traditionally, um, certainly in the Indian subcontinents, it's always been the sort of women um, that cooks in the actual kitchen themselves. Um, but also in the UK, it tends to be a bit more of a mixture of men and women. But from your perspective, what would you see as your role of women actually in the cooking? Well, I come from a traditional family. So my mum's normally in the kitchen <clears throat> and my dad works. <laughs> like, you know, so now they're both retired, so it's different. But my mum's normally in the kitchen and she's always been a housewife, you know, most, most of her life. So I've always uh, grown up looking at that and seeing that. Being a career woman myself, you know, doing lots of work, etc. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have to balance, you know, my time because sometimes I'm not around to stay at home fully <laughs> to cook every single day. But I definitely appreciate what um, women do. Because really, women feed their kids, women look after their families, women actually are looking after the communities. If they didn't uh, bring up those children well and you know, kept them healthy and you know, giving them nutritious uh, meals, etc., you will find that you won't have healthy communities. <laughs> so mm. the, parents, uh, the parents, especially the mom, has a very important role to play, I believe. In terms of nowadays, ch um, times are changing because you have a lot of couples, I believe personally, that nowadays, because both a man and the woman tends to work during the day, when they come back home, it may be a really great way to work together in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You find most of the um, very good cooks are normally male chefs. <laughs> you know, it's, it's unusual, but they are very, very good. If you try like Jamie Oliver, or he could be you know, from the Asian side, mm -hmm. you'll have very good chefs. But if you can have a husband and a wife, or a couple, or a young couple, etc., or even a family, if they come together in the, fa uh, in the kitchen, especially a couple, one could be cutting, chatting, talking about what's happened during the day. It becomes a kind of a bonding session as well, not just cooking. It doesn't mm -hmm. become like a oh, chore, you know, that we have to cook and oh, it's everyday thing. You, so I think my perspective of this is that, you know, both genders can work together, support each other. 
each gender has its own strengths and weaknesses. And mm -hmm. if you can support each other, I think, I think that's the best way to work. And if there's things you can do, like mm -hmm. cooking-wise, together, I think that will be really good. That's my take on it. Yes, yeah, certainly, um, I would agree. And I, I think uh, moving into the sort of 21st century, there has been many more women, uh, men that have wanted to come into the kitchen, possibly because the woman is now starting to go out to work a bit more and she doesn't have as much time. I and mean, it's great to have that sort of support there. Yeah, um, maybe maybe not just even the cooking side. Mm. It could be if a guy can't cook, let's say, or he's maybe, you know, maybe not used to it, he could just dry the dishes and, you know, he could just wash up or mm. do other things while they're chatting, mm -hmm. while the woman's cooking. So uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the cooking part or it could be just, oh, can you just do the carrots <laughs> for a salad oh, or something? So, you, yeah, you just get them to do things that are part of you know being part of the process mm -hmm. and it's the process as they say in anything in life even especially for personal development it's the journey that you need to enjoy not the destination yes absolutely. So, yeah so if you can enjoy that journey I think it makes every single day more fun I believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and from being um, the presenter on the show, um, what would you say is the most exciting thing for you? What were you, because you obviously be there sort of each day presenting um, the, the various elements of the show, but what sort of key thing are you um, looking forward to? Is it more about the variety of dishes or is it kind of the judge's response or the whole um, sort of um, atmosphere of the actual show? What would you say it is that you're looking forward mm. to? Well, if everything works out for us and I'm presenting this show, show then the thing that I would be looking for and the most important thing for me will be the women themselves mm -hmm. the women who are taking part some of them may have never been on camera before mm -hmm. some of them for them is a once in a lifetime opportunity to shine mm -hmm. so I think this platform will be all for them it's all about them no, nothing to do with me nothing to do with the judges nothing to do with anything it's about bringing out the best in them giving them the confidence, giving them acknowledgement for the skills that they have, mm -hmm. and also being able to bring out a little bit about their story through the TV shows. So people get a chance to share a little bit about themselves. Everyone has some interesting story to t tell. Mm -hmm. So I believe that when the women come there, I have seen women who go from completely shy women, and with a bit of encouragement, they will open up and do you know what? You can't believe how clever they are, how intelligent they are. They've got so much uh, potential. Mm -hmm. it, they just need a platform somewhere to bring out the best in them. So hopefully something like this, housewives, young women, older women, or whoever it is, it doesn't matter, aunties, grandmas, mm -hmm. it's open to anyone who'd like to be part of this. And I'm sure all the candidates and participants who are going to be taking part, they will end up making new friends they will end up having a kind of a social time too. I know it's a competition, mm -hmm. but it can also be lifetime uh, friendships that could be formed in places like this. So it's, I think um, there are many elements of it, and I think I'll be enjoying that part. I've always been interested in the human, um, ele you know, hu the human side of things, mm -hmm. um, humanitarian things, of how people work together, how people interact with each other, um, how to bring out the best in people. That's an area that I'm very interested in. So the cooking part is probably the vehicle, yes. but the main important part is connecting to these wonderful women and really bringing out the best in them. I would agree, actually. And um, Celine, something I would like to ask you um, is because um, I know previously um, you might have felt a bit um, sort of unsure about going onto a program like this purely because um, there's so many different people, it's being filmed, it's, it's a completely new, different experience. But having been through that particular experience and that journey, how would you say um, it's actually changed your life? How would you say it's different now? It gives you more confidence. Yeah. It, you can build so. your confidence more because mm. you might think, oh, I'm really shy. But once mm -hmm. you're out there and you're really speaking from your heart, it really gives you the boost of confidence that you really need and you really got. And as I say, NTV is the best place to start. And I'm, I'm glad they gave everybody this opportunity again to do something like this. And I'm glad I inspire loads of women to come on the show. And there's, um, when, if, when for the selection show, I went to Manchester, Birmingham, just to inspire the ladies just to come on just to come and say, yes, you could do it. You know, you need to support your ladies, you need to support each other, and you need to give a helping hand, actually. And, you know, I think, what can I say? I mean, everybody is kind of, um, can say, kind of uh, somewhere locked inside, mm -hmm. but just you need a little bit of help and support just to open that up and you see amazing lady coming out. 
That's fantastic. Do you know what? It's, it's been, I've been sat next to two men just before the break. And, um, but to be sat here with two women, you can really feel the empowerment. So thank you so much, honey, first of all, and also Selena for joining us. And thank you so much for our viewers out there on Community Matters that um, have actually tuned in to enjoy this special episode. Stay tuned because the first episode is going to be starting on the 1st of November 2014 and we look forward to seeing you then on Cooking Queen 2014. Thank you.